Assalam o Alaikum everyone. Hope you all are doing fine. Dear students, the chapter 10 working of the UN is our today's topic. Last class from this topic I discussed aims and objective of the COSOC, the Trusteeship Council and 11 Trust Territories. And today our subtopics are the United Nations, the UN Secretariat and its different agencies and the relationship between United Nations and Bangladesh. The United Nations was built with the motto to prevent the wars and to maintain peace in this world. It was built after the World War II. It also works for economic development, public health and human rights. Therefore, the United Nations was formed with six main organs, but I will mainly discuss about the last organ, the UN Secretariat. The Secretariat carries out the administrative works of the United Nations. The head of this organ is the Secretary General himself, Antonio Guterres, who provides overall administrative guidance. It has 17 specialized agencies in this UN Secretariat, but I will discuss only some of these few following topics. The United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization, or UNESCO, is a specialized agency of the United Nations. It was established in 1946 with its headquarters in Paris, France. It mainly works for promoting international relationship through education, science, and culture. International Mother Language Day is celebrated every year on 21st February, which was first announced by UNESCO on November 17, 1999. Since then, it is being celebrated every year. UNESCO recognized the historic speech of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman as a part of world's documentary heritage. The World Health Organization deals with health, sanitation, and sent medical teams to help epidemics or pandemics. It helps countries to improve their health system. It aims at fighting diseases and preventing them from spreading. Here, I have posted a link so you can directly go and see what World Health Organization is actually doing regarding this COVID-19 pandemic. World Bank. The World Bank is an international organization dedicated to provide finance advice and research to developing nations to aid their economic advancement, especially in middle and low income countries. Now let's know about the relationship between United Nations and Bangladesh. In September 1974, Bangladesh became the 136th member of the UN. Rabab Fatima is the present permanent representative of Bangladesh to the United Nations. Bangladesh and the United Nations have a strong relationship. Bangladesh is one of the largest troop contributing countries in the world. Bangladesh, UN peacekeeping force, is one of the largest contingent force of the United Nations and in December 2017 it had 7246 personnel deployed in peacekeeping operations. Here are a few pictures of the UN peacekeepers. Now let's go for a quick recap. The Secretariat is the main administrative organ of the UN. We also learn about some special agencies of the UN. As a member of the UN, Bangladesh has been playing a special role in maintaining world peace. This is all for today. Thank you very much, students.